And your story? The priest is dead, and so too are his killers. Bandits. I found this. It's an order to kill Flan. One of them was to disguise himself as a priest. Cut Flan's throat during the coronation. Right under our noses. Why take the risk? Why not poison? Or striking at him in his sleep? Poison can fail. And to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle. But your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well. I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah fall. A sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations alone. Where's the food? You have not changed. I'm here. I may as well enjoy myself. Flan for And with that, Flan's enemies multiply. This warring of dynasties runs deep. 
If he's a smart king, he'll be eager for allies. Smart he is, but also impassioned. His plan to subdue the North is not driven by power so much as it is bloodlust. Back there on our ride from Dublin, Kira made it seem there was more to you and Flan. What am I missing? A uh, detail. A large detail. You see, the northern king who crowned me, Ed Findlia, he murdered Flan's father and took his place as high king. Then, as is custom, he married Flan's mother. Safe to say there's no love lost between you. None. To Flan, Ed was a venomous snake, and so too are the ones he favored. Winning his trust will be no simple task. We just thwarted an attempt on his life. That should at least perk his ears up. Let us hope. I will leave immediately for Duro. Meet me there as soon as you can. Oh, Cheryl, that's 